Hey everybody, it's Anne Marie. <laughs> How has everyone everyone's Monday went? It's 7.09. Um, I did a video earlier today. My interview went really well. Um, and my first day of work went really well. Both of these positions are temporary and short term, so that's why I'm continually interviewing and looking for other work. Um, however, I'm excited for this next month or two. So anyway, I thought we would continue to pull some cards and get some messages of clarity for those who would like it. Tiger's eye. There's some things in there. Oh, look. Wasn't that cool? A reflection of a reflection of a reflection. It doesn't take much for me to find joy. I've been burning some sage to kind of cleanse the space and the cards and the area so we can get some messages of clarity for those of you who would like it. <clears throat> what we do and it's just it's, you know we got a little we got an uno game going on <laughs> i said uno okay time to take decisive action about something you want to reflect okay you're exploring different uh options that you have in some transition we have antelope decisive action hippopotamus <laughs> exploration bat transition giraffe reflection uh, you're being told unequivocally that it's time to get moving, set your intentions, and take action towards making your dreams a reality. You have a door in front of you. You need to trust your instincts there. Um, and this is, have you become bored with your life? You have creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making new spiritual connections. That transition, you must pay attention to the signs around you. The transition may seem frightening at first, but you must let go of old habits and patterns that no longer serve you. That's what the message was today from the Shamanic Healing Oracle. Your higher calling, uh, they will only hinder your growth. So, yeah, what's hindering your growth? Uh, it's the difficult, this difficult situation here. Reflection. If you're facing a difficult situation, do not rush into making a decision. You are advised to turn the problem around in all possible manners before deciding on a solution. Turn the problem around. Okay. Your circumstances need to be examined carefully. And so I find it interesting. We have the decisive action and the reflection here. You've been reflecting on this situation, leaving this situation uh, for some time now, and you keep going back and forth on it. It's like some days you're like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave, or I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, and then the next day it's something different. Spirit is saying that you're missing the signs of which direction to go, and that you're gaslighting yourself certain times. Um, thank you, Spirit. There's a there's a fear of the transition. There's a fear of this. Uh, the, you know, you're. There, I'm sensing some concerns and some worries. Sorry, there's a lot of noise above me. Um, about this transition. Yes, it, it's not gonna. Be, it's not gonna be easy. If it was easy, you would have done it a long time ago, right? What I can speak on to be truer than I ever knew and wish to care that I did know is when we walk by faith and walk through that fear, not knowing the outcome, the outcome is usually a lot greater than what we thought. It doesn't always happen immediately. There's residual effects of all decisions and everything we do is cause and effect to everything. What are you gaining from staying in whatever the situation is that you're not being decisive over, that you're kind of teetering on you're teetering back and forth about something that you need to do and you just keep kind of going back and forth with yourself all along it's been six months and you're still at the same place you may have uh, I'm seeing someone writing a pros and cons list which is good it seems as though every time you do the pros and cons list you're not doing nothing with the information you're getting from the data you're gathering spirit is saying that 
no matter how many times you do these pros and cons lists or no matter how many times you compare like the you know the pros and cons or you know teetering on this decision or this transformation or this transition um that what you want it to be is not going to show up and that's why you're teetering is because you're not liking the results or the answers that you're getting from this pros and cons list you're fearing the transition period this trend for some reason i see this transition period someone may be leaving a relationship and may have to go back home with their parents or may have to go back to a hometown or may have to what you perceive to be taking 10 steps backwards and having to start all over starting from the ground up is what i just heard starting from the ground up spirit said But by starting from the ground up, you're able to build your own foundation your way. You can use the tools you want to use. You can use cement. You can use mud. You can use water. You can use whatever elements and items that you want to build your own foundation this time. It's the fear that's keeping you teetering on this and kind of like stretching this transition out that you know you need to make. What can we, all of a sudden my temples just started pounding, really, like I just felt like, uh, God, my tension right here, oh, shine on light of it, please, spirit, shine on light, spirit says, you're not, I just heard spirit say, you're not wanting to let go of what was, or what could be. You're in love with an idea or a person that is, a, it's like future, future front and future fake and no. It's a uh, spirit show me. It's the, um, you're, you fell in love with someone or something on hopes of what it would be, but you can't deny what it's right in front of you. No matter how many lists you make, that's what spirit just said. Spirit is saying it's time for you to love yourself and, and you will Learn how to do that in this transition. However, you got to take the step. You have to walk through the fire. You have to walk through the fire. You have to walk through your fear. It's scary. Your team is there for you. And I was just saying when I was shuffling, even if you have to walk it alone, you have to walk through it. And a lot of times, these transitions we need to make and the fire we have to walk through, we often have to do it alone. And by doing that alone, we realize how much power and strength we actually have inside ourselves and not seek it outside of us to give it to us. 31, loneliness and connection. The rule... You're never alone, and I know, I, I, and I say that, and a lot of people say it, but I and I get it when you're in the midst of it. You feel alone because you don't have a physical body there, right? Think of all the other times that you were alone in this situation, that you didn't have support in the situation. Is it the connection that you're wanting? Because it's not a solid foundation. It's not a solid connection, which your which spirit is wanting you to move away from. Or this transition and wanting you, I just keep seeing spirit showing me needing to make your own foundation out of your own materials, out of your own shit. You need to build your own foundation. That way it won't falter. No matter what job, person, situation, no matter what happens in your life, it won't, your, found, your foundation won't falter because you built it with your own materials. Yes, it may take longer. Yes, there'll be some bumps in the road. Yes, it'll be scary. Yes, there'll be a few times and maybe certain things won't work out. You may cut the board wrong and not fit. So you have to go back to the drawing board and redo it again. But it's yours, which means it will not falter. No matter what happens in your life this time around, what are you going to choose? The connections will come in through this transition. Whether when you're at Lowe's buying some materials, stay with me here, we're almost out of time. And you meet somebody, that's a connection that can help you build. Not that you rely on that person to build, but can give you information about building. Hope you're healthy and happy for.